In this example, we're going to look at how Java is going to import an external library, or in Java parlance, it would be referred to as a package. A common reason for this is I need to import a class or maybe a set of classes in a package that is going to allow me to have some additional functionality. Now, these might come with Java, but not be part of the core Java application and language. So, for example, things in the java.util package. Another example is maybe I need to import from a third party. Maybe I'm that third party. It's another project I've worked on. Or I'm using a library from someone else. A real common example of this is the date. Now, Java actually has two commonly accessed date functions. One if you're working with the database and one if you're not. If I specify that I want a date, you're going to notice that I have one available in java.sql and one in java.util. But how am I going to import those? Well, I'm going to come up to the very top of my file before I even have my public class and then my class name. I'm going to say import java, specify dot, and then here's a list of all the packages that are a subset of Java. So for example, java.applet or java.awt, or in what I'm looking for, java.util. If I say java.util.star, it's going to import every class that comes with java.util. If, however, I want to be specific, I could say, for example, java.util.date. Now, this shouldn't make my compiled file any larger, but it might make it a little bit longer in order to compile. But for simplicity's sake, that's going to be okay, because a lot of times you're going to use things in something like java.util. Now if I come over here and say date, my date, I can specify new date, and it's going to use the date object that's found in java.util. If I do happen to be using both java.util and java.sql, what I can do is I can specify java.sql.date, give it an object name, then I can say new java.sql.date. This way, I can get around any ambiguity that might exist when I work with dates. Now, luckily, you're not going to find a lot of cases where you're using util.date and sql.date very often, but it does happen, and so you want to know how to work around that. As I mentioned before, it's really easy to import a library. In Java, we call them a package simply by using the import command and then giving the qualified name for that package.